Listen, uh, Ming, I have to ask you before you go, a lot of people will be very disappointed that you have said you're giving up uh, smoking, uh, is it hash or grass? You think it's grass I'm giving up uh, smoking uh, cannabis in the Republic of Ireland, and the reason... Uh, <laughs> is, this, is this not a compromise already? <laughs> Next you'll have the hair cut and the beard off and you'll be wearing a suit. Well, obviously you've never had uh, the, the joy of having to sit down uh, beside the drug squad and have them uh, cross-examine you, and I have to say I could not put my children through that. Simple as that. I okay. love my children. Do you not accept as well, though, that, I mean, as ridiculous as you, as you might think the law is, I think it's quite ridiculous myself, it is the law. You're a legislator. You probably have to keep the law, don't you? Well, not too long ago, it used to be against the law to wear condoms in this country. And then a while back, I think during the Second World War, it was illegal to be a, na or illegal to be a, a Jew in Nazi Germany. Just because something is illegal doesn't mean it's wrong. And for all the ladies out there, wrong, all, the, all the ladies out there, it used to be uh, illegal to work when you got married not too long ago in this country. Law was made by men and women and can be changed by men and women. I, and when the law changes, then smoke your hash. But I think if we all started deciding, well, I don't like that law, so I won't follow it, you know. But listen, I it's have a good to job you, the women in the audience and uh, their descendants uh, did that many years ago because if they didn't, they wouldn't have I to agree, vote. I now. agree, we should change ridiculous but, laws. For, but yeah. but when you're fighting on those I mean, other laws, you don't face the prospect of what I was facing in my family life. And yeah. I didn't want to impose that on my family. I'll do anything for my family and I'll make the ultimate do you, sacrifice. Do you miss your little joint in the you, you basically have one smoke in the evening, have you? Not, uh, not massively. I run uh, about 30 miles every week. I run maybe five or six miles more. Most days. So you're feeling and a bit better that you're not smoking? Well, no, not necessarily. Either way, I wouldn't have smoked an amazing amount of it. Uh, I think uh, it's Just actually the, the media that are addicted to this topic rather than me. It's actually been uh, <laughs> nine years. <laughs> you see, it's, a, it's actually, me, it's actually as a, as, been... As a member of the media, I have to say to you, you're the one who's been a pro-cannabis campaigner for the last decade, like, so, well, I, you know, I, th I, think th I think the use of language is very important. Just because you believe alcohol should be legal doesn't mean you're pro-drink. It means you believe it shouldn't be illegal. And just because I am pro the legalization of cannabis, it does not mean I am pro it. I don't give a damn if anyone smokes cannabis, but if you decide to, I don't think you should be given a criminal record for it. Fair enough. Okay, uh, Ming, we'll, we'll, we'll end on that, all right? Ladies and gentlemen, Luke Ming Flanagan. Thank you.